sometimes I just, I already started filming this and I caught myself being like super proper and I was like, what the hell are you doing? You're talking to your friends. Like, I felt like I was talking to someone for the first time ever and I was like being super professional and then I was like, turn this shit off and start over. I am here today with an indie nail polish video. Indie is short for ind why am I screaming? An indie nail polish brand is basically just an independently run, operated, owned, made, however you want to put it. They make the polish, they bottle it, they ship it, they create it, all that stuff. I love supporting indie brands because 99% of the time in the nail polish world, it's women running the show. So it's like women supporting other women, which we don't have enough of in this day and age. And I like supporting smaller businesses. I've said this before, but if I can choose between a mainstream brand and a smaller brand, I'm always gonna go with the smaller brand. Like, okay, sorry, my camera just totally like froze. My camera's been overheating, so if there's like weird cuts in this video, it's just because my camera shut off. So, I'm not gonna ramble too much. I wanna get right into the video because I have a ton of stuff to show you guys. Now I'm just gonna talk with you today about my favorite indie brands. I have been a huge fan of indie nail polish for, oh my gosh, since I started. Because I started with nails, and then I moved into makeup. Now I kind of do both. I know I don't do enough nails. You guys always yell at me. Um, but I was huge into indies at first. Like KB Shimmer was probably the first one that I ever purchase. So I'm just going to talk with you guys about my favorite indie brands. I have coupon codes for you. I have a giveaway for you. So this is a jam-packed, polish-filled video. I was going to try to say something super quirky, but I didn't have anything. Excuse my butthole lips. Do you see this? I have one Anastasia Sad Girl, and uh -huh, it's happening, but I don't want to take it off because it's so pretty. So just, just work with me. And this piece of hair is driving me crazy. So, okay, the first brand I'm going to talk with you guys about is a new brand to me. All of the other brands that you're going to see today are brands that I have been loving for years. Oh, I don't have my wedding ring on. I'm still married. Oh my gosh, I hate when I forget to put it on. I take it off when I do dishes because I don't want the diamond to get like, you know, dirty. Yes, like this. So I take it off and I forget to put it back on, but I'm still married. Um, anyway, this first brand is new to me. I was contacted by the owner, Jen, and she asked me if I wanted to try some of her polishes and I was like, uh, of course I do. And if I like them, I will share them on my Instagram. So I ended up loving them. You guys have seen them. The brand is Super Chic Lacquer. And I'm always very skeptical of new brands, especially with nail polish. They are absolutely freaking lutely amazing. Now, like I said, I was very skeptical at first. And then when I tried the nail polishes, I was like, where have you been all my life? Now, Jen has a collection that is called the Dreamology Holos, and Holo is short for holographic. So there are six polishes in the Dreamology line. Let's see if I can hold them all at one time. Probably not. These six. Now these are all Holo nail polishes, and they are all one coaters. One coat, every single one of them. Now when I tried the first polish, it was a one coater. It was so pigmented and the formula was so smooth. I was like, this is a fluke. There's no way that they're going to be like this, like all of them. Went on to the next one. It was a one coater and it was smooth and amazing. And I'm like, what the hell is this woman putting in her nail polish? This is like unheard of. I have tried so many holographic nail polishes and I have never before in my life seen any as pigmented as the Dreamology line from Super Chic Lacquer ever, ever in my entire life. So let me quickly go through the colors. And like I said, I do have coupon codes for you guys for I think every brand that I'm talking with you about. I will put that information down below. Please, please check the description box. It is there for a reason. I try to pack it full of information for you guys from what is on my face to what is on my body to the products that I talk about. So please check the description box. So the first one is No Rest for the Wicked. Can we talk about these cute little bottles? This reminds me of like a stiletto 
nail. Can you guys picture me with stiletto nails? No, me neither. Okay, so no rest for the wicked. It's a gorgeous emerald green. And like I said, let me just say this again, one coat. Every single one of these six polishes, you'll never need two. I mean, the amount of pigmentation. She has a unicorn living in her backyard, and she's like harvesting his cells or something crazy. The next one is Realm of Erotica. Now, this color is not very unique. It's just red, a red holo. But again, the formula. It's so pigmented, like I'm at a loss for words. I still cannot get over how pigmented they are. You guys are going to get tired of hearing me say that. It's crazy. The next one is probably, why can't I hold them? The next one is probably my favorite. This is Wake Me Up. And this is like a, a cranberry shade. It is so stunning on the nail. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have 40 Winks, which is purple. You guys know how I feel about purple. Again, this color is not very unique, but say it with me. It's a one coda. And then we have REM. This one I think is unique. This is a black base and it has like gold holographicness everywhere. It is very, very pretty and very, very different from a lot of holos. They can get a little bit repetitive. It's just like formula that changes. So you kind of have to decide, you know, do I need 37 blue holographic nail polishes? In my case, the answer is always yes because they're different and then this last one speaking of blue holos this is lucid la la land this one is probably the most pigmented one this one or the cranberry one i mean balls balls out is that what they say and then also from shoop <laughs> super chic lacquer also from super chic lacquer she has these gorgeous polishes they are like it's a colored base and then they have this chunky silver glitter in them it's not bar glitter i despise that crap but it's like it almost looks like broken glass and it they're so pretty so this first one is notions of ariel and then we have wish upon a wisp which is a gorgeous purple my favorite one is probably crown jewels of enchantment this just looks like new year's eve on your nails it's like so blinged out and pretty ah i forgot to shut my phone off okay and then the last one i have here is captured teardrops and this one's like a mid-tone blue base so these are all pretty much the exact same polish just with a different base color so nice like they're not goopy when I saw the amount of shimmer that was in these and how chunky it was I was like these are going to be a disaster I told you guys I'm skeptical but after putting them on the nail they are so easy to work with beautiful all that jazz okay next let's talk glitter days I have a few from this brand that I want to show you guys I've been working with them for over a year and their polishes are consistently good. Like when I get a package in the mail from them, I'm like, yep, it's going to be amazing. Okay, so the first one is Gold Digger. This was actually given out at my meet and greet in Philly. She was nice enough to send nail polish for me to give out to my subscribers, which I thought was so sweet. This I love to use for an accent nail. It's a fully opaque gold just disco ball on your nail it's so pretty the formula is outstanding on this it's not chunky it's just it's like working with a cream nail polish but it's a glitter it's just so good if you need a gold shimmery accent nail polish right here I don't know that I have one that's better than this. Seriously, like I grab for this all the time. She also does a silver one in this exact same formula. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. My bottle's empty. I have to get a new one. That's why I don't have it to show you guys. But it is amazing. Like I have used that nail polish in probably a hundred nail art tutorials tutorials pictures anyway um manicures was the word that i wanted you are such a jack and then y2k is another one that is gorgeous it's this like greenish gold base and then it has all different colored shimmers through it it is so unique formula is smooth and easy and just it's so much 
fun. I love this nail polish. And this is out. Like everything that I'm showing you guys is available. And then the last one I want to show you guys is Mom Jeans. Look how bright and gorgeous this is. I have worn this nail polish so many times. It's just like the perfect shade of blue. It's not too dark. It's not too light. Formula is amazing. This is a cream. Some people think that indie brands only do like these shimmery holographic nail polishes. They do creams also. Just not as much, I don't think. I mean, I don't see as many creams in my life. Okay, next let's talk about Girly Bits. Girly Bits is probably my second favorite indie brand. Um, if we were going in order, sorry, I just flashed that bag in front of you. My favorite brand is the one I'm going to show you guys next after Girly Bits. Girly Bits is probably my second favorite, and then Glitter Days is my third and super chic lacquer they're new to me so i can't really categorize them in the favorites but they're amazing so girly bits i have a few i want to show you guys they're like all purple oh my god nicole are you serious okay my favorite nail polish from girly bits is defying gravity oh my god you guys can you guys see that i'll do a close-up but it's this like mid-tone purple base but it has like a blue shift to it Oh my god, this is one of my all-time favorite nail polishes ever in the history of my life. I'm starting to get really excited. This nail polish is so good. The formula, you can't even imagine how smooth it is. It's opaque. It wears really well. This lifetime favorite. Like, I will love you forever. Another one that I have fallen hard for is which I'm fabulous and this one is from her Halloween collection but I'm thinking you might still be able to get this one if you can't and I'm showing it to you and I'm like raving about it I am so sorry but she has other amazing glitters I just had to show this one to you guys it's so 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 good so freaking gorgeous I have worn this so many times oh my god Look at that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Wait, I need to have a drink. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Okay, the next one is a muck, a muck, a muck. And this was also, I'm pretty sure, from the Halloween collection. But this is just like a... It's not purple. It's like a, a taupey purple almost. It's a weird shade of purple. It's a holo nail polish. And it's just... It's so pretty on and the formula is amazing. Oh, I know someone's going to ask why I'm not talking about Glistening Glow. Glistening Glow is one of my all-time favorite brands, but I have a Glistening Glow video coming for you guys very soon with a special little surprise. Okay, and the last brand that we are going to talk about is the, the big daddy of them all. There are indie brands and then there is different dimension. This brand is by far my favorite indie nail polish brand. I have never in my life had a nail polish from different dimension that has not been like knock your socks off amazing seriously and I'm not being paid to talk about any of these brands. This video is not sponsored. This is just me telling you guys brands that I love. Um, I can't even breathe. I'm like dying. I don't know what is going on over at the Different Dimension household, but Miss, who is the owner of Different Dimension, she is a polish genius. I'm telling you guys, if you have never ordered from an indie brand before, go to Different Dimension's website. Pick out like five of her nail polishes. It doesn't matter what you pick. You will fly out of your seat and your panties will just shoot off your body. That is how good this brand okay, is. So I brought a few of my favorites. I mean, I'm not going to be able to show all of these to you guys, but Miss just came out with a winter collection, the Toyland collection. Is that what it was called? Babes in Toyland. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. And she has all of these polishes that are so different. They're so gorgeous. Let me just show you guys a couple. This is Jack. Jack looks like snow that has just fallen, and when you put it on your nail, you just want to die of happiness. It's like, everything is good with the world. I can die in peace. Also, Tom Piper. Look at this green. It is so pretty, and there's always 
things about different dimension nail polishes that are different from other brands. She always adds like a little bit of glitter or a little bit of micro shimmer. It's never just like a holo nail polish. There's always something special happening which makes me love it even more. Amazing. Like how many times can I say the words? Oh, this one you guys is so pretty. This is boy blue. This one also looks like snow to me because it's like a white shimmery base and then there's like silver glitters and baby blue. Like I can't. Just look at it. Just look at the close up and tell me you're not dead. Okay. And then Miss also has this Oh, what is the collection called? I totally forget what it's called. I have like so many polishes in my head right now. The Dream Team or something like that. But these are the three nail polishes that are in that little trio. I've done numerous nail, tutor not tutorials. Why do I keep wanting to say tutorials? I've done numerous nail looks with them. What, what is the word that I even want? Manicures? I have no idea. So Starstream is the silver one, and then Sunbeam is the gold one. My favorite one is Moonbeam. It is rose gold, and it is glittery out the ass. These three together look absolutely gorgeous in nail art. You can do nail art with these. I know they look like, I mean, they are like hardcore glitter polishes, but the formula is so smooth, so opaque, that you can do nail art with these and it just like flows like a cream polish. I don't know, I don't know what she's doing, seriously. I think she puts crack in her polish because you become addicted and you can't think about anything else. You just want your different dimension polish. I'm telling you, she's a drug dealer. Oh my God, another one, Bo Peep. This is so pretty, it's like a baby pink. Oh, you guys, wait, I wanna find that other one. Sorry. Oh, here it is, Mother Goose. Oh my God, when I put this on my nails, this was almost a one coater. It's this like purplish, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a blackened plum almost. It's like really dark, really gorgeous. Formula is amazing. It's very unique. I'm not even, I don't even know where I'm at anymore. I feel like I'm in another dimension. This is too much. And my favorite one right now from different dimension, where is it? I just had it. Is this it? Yes. Kiss Me at Midnight. You guys have seen this if you follow me on Instagram. Oh my God. Oh my God, this nail polish is crazy. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's a silver, glittery, shimmery base, but then it has little tiny, they look like specks of pepper. It's just little black shimmers throughout, and it is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I wanna pour this nail polish over my body and just, just be. Can I do that? I need this in a vat. I'm gonna need a gallon of this shit. Oh my god, it's just my favorite. It's like a drug to me, seriously. I know that sounds very weird and doesn't make sense, but I like crave these nail polishes because they're so good. And when I get a package from Different Dimension, I always know it's from Mist because she uses like galaxy duct tape to seal the package and as soon as I see that duct tape I seriously every time I squeal and I turn into a five-year-old on Christmas morning. Her polishes are the best I've ever used indie wise. Okay so I think I raved enough about Different Dimension. I love all of these brands. They wouldn't be in this video if I didn't think that they were amazing but Different Dimension is just above and beyond. She's a nail polish genius. Everything she does is a thousand percent perfect. So, whew, gosh, okay, I'm done, geez. I can't talk about nail polish without getting like crazy, I'm sorry. Okay, so Miss from Different Dimension was so sweet and she offered to give away one of each of her new collections. So she has the Babes in Toyland collection, which includes like Mother Goose, Tom Piper. Did I show you guys Barnaby? This is like a gorgeous gold. And then Kiss Me at Midnight. So there's a ton of polishes in the Babes in Toyland line. This is just a few of them. So one subscriber is going to win the Babes in Toyland line. And you're also going to win the Dream Team. That's what I'm calling it. I don't know if that's the exact name, but you'll also win these three. 
So Moonbeam, Starstream, and Sunbeam. One winner, both collections. So like I said, I have discount codes down below for each of the brands that I showed you guys. Um, yeah, I think that that is everything. I feel like I'm losing my dang voice. There is so much gorgeous nail polish in front of me right now. I just want to like make a snow angel in all of this polish. I just contemplated okay, it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out till the end of this video. I'm sure that this was a very, very long video. I always say I'm going to do a shorter one and then it just gets super long. <laughs> so I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to check the description box for coupon codes and they're not affiliate codes. They're just codes for you guys. Oh, that was a lot, you guys. Okay, so I love all of you and I will see you guys next time. Bye. How's the butthole lip? <laughs> my lipstick is like, peace out, bitch. I'm done with your ass. I'm hitting the road. Me and my butthole is going elsewhere. It's so blingy. It's like hotline bling. I know when that hotline bling. Now get only me one thing. It was time to run the city, yo. It looks like snow. It's like freshly fallen snow, and the glitter is just. You're walking through a freaking winter wonderland. Keep in mind, they are one coat. How many times have I said that now? They're one coat. They get it. It's one coat. It's one coat. Oh my god. I'm sorry. For some reason, when I do that, it makes me feel a little bit better. Like I'm pushing my love into that bottle. Which, stop. See? I feel better. Stop. I just wish I had like 30 hands coming out of my body so I had all these nails to paint because this is not enough. These are two toes. I mean, two feet. This is just not enough. And there's a hair on me. <sighs> right? Thoughts on that? Yeah, I feel like this. Ew. <laughs> It does look like a bottle, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is gross. But it's so true. Six. Uh-huh. Right. I only like six inches. Really? <laughs> Love you. Love you. Four on the floor is good, but the bunny hop, I think sometimes it's even better. Did you just do that all? It's like the 90s twerk. We didn't call it a twerk. It was just like a... You didn't really call it anything. You just did it. Now that you have to announce that I'm twerking, nobody cares. Just do it. Oh my god, I gotta pee, I gotta pee, I gotta pee. Woo! That's dramatic. <laughs> butthole lips is not dramatic. That is real. That is real living, real life. My butthole can't live. What? My butthole is stressed. <laughs> what? Why would your butthole be stressed? I mean, don't answer that. Mine is not stressed. I mean, maybe it is. You know what? You never know. How would you know if your butthole is stressed? I'm gonna ask mine later. <laughs> Oh my god, are you joking my life right now? That nail polish just rolled off of my vanity back there. <sighs> this is so first world, right? Oh my god, I have to bend over. Are you stupid? Do you guys see how good my trachea is now? Like, it's so happy since I got a stud in it. It's just so happy. It's not pussy or bloody or gross or... It's just happy. Let's all be happy for my trachea. Ugh. I have a lot of hair on my bubble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That, that, we're done, we're done. Goodbye. Say goodbye to your friends because you don't know how to ask them. You have to go bye-bye. Goodbye.